find the area of the region enclosed by y equals x and y equals x squared minus 2. So first we're going to draw y equals x. Then we will draw x squared minus 2. And so I'm looking for this area here. So region must be bounded, which means they need to intersect on each other on both sides. We've sketched a picture of the region. We will also be finding this area. So, and again, this is check your understanding for topic 8.4 and 8.6. So our bounds, A and B, are negative 1 and positive 2 because that's where it intersects on the X. Negative 1, positive 2. So my areas from negative 1 to positive 2 of my top curve is X and my bottom curve is X squared minus 2 and parentheses, 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 parentheses. We're going to subtract these dx. So bounds are intersections. We need to figure out the x values of these or whatever this is. So if we did made this y, we would figure out the y values. But we're not doing that right now. We'll do that later. Maybe soon. So there we go. Um, Antiderivative x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 plus, distributing the minus sign here, plus 2x evaluated from negative 1 to 2. So I get 4 over 2 minus 8 over 3 plus 4 minus 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 3 plus negative 2, which becomes 2 minus 8 thirds plus 4 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 2, which 7 thirds. Oh, whoops. Like that's not working. It's supposed to work. Negative, negative, negative. Three negatives. That's negative. That's plus. Okay. So eight. So we have eight minus nine thirds minus one half, which is eight minus three minus one half, which is equal to 4.5. And again, free response, you're stopping right there. Okay. That's it. All right. Let R be the region bound by e to the y, e, y equals e to the 2x minus x squared, and y equals 2. So that's this region. Find the area of R. So this is R. Well, clearly this funky shape goes above 2. So we're going to have e to the x. Excuse me. e to the 2x minus x squared minus y this time. dx, the integral from. Now here's the hard part. What is this and what is that? So that's where this thing equals that thing. So how do I find those? I'm going to let my calculator find those. 
Okay, so I'm going to have A and B. I'm going to let my calculator figure out what A and B are. Okay, so there's a couple of really cool things my calculator can do here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to type in my equation for Y1. E, so that's second, LN to bring up E. 2X minus X squared. And then I'm just going to let this be 2. No big deal. Okay. I'm going to hit graph. And it's going to be terrible because I didn't change that. Let me fix that as soon as it's done. What I can tell from this picture is what my window needs to be. So let me set up my window to match that picture. So my x min, let's leave it at negative 1. We need to go up to 3. My y min, let's go to negative 1. And we only need to go up to 4. And graph. Let's make sure it doesn't look like that. So far, sure. There we go. We need to find these two points. Okay. So not trace. Don't hit trace. Hit second trace. We want to know where they intersect. Number five. First curve, second curve, just to enter twice and guess. I think that is like 0.5. And so then it's fine now. The guess is really important because there are two answers here. So A is 0 0.4. Oops. Okay, 0 0.46, 0 0.46, let me put the whole thing down, 0, 057, then this one, so, second, count, trace, number 5, First curve, second curve, and I guess those meet at 1.5 over there. So you have to get close to that. And I got 1.553943. And I'm writing the whole number that from my calculator down so that when I do the interval, it's more reasonable. Okay. Try number seven. So lower limit will be point zero zero four four six zero five seven, and my upper limit will be the other number one point five 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 three nine four three. Gives me this, and notice what it did. I love the way because it drew it. You see how it's counting all this area that's not really there? So that's incorrect answer. That's the number. So if those are my, that's my interval. That's my number. But I need to subtract 2 from this number because I have 2 underneath it. Does that give me the right value? It does not. Okay, so I like that, but again, we have this problem. Didn't cut this out for me. So what do I need to do? Um, I want to use that. Nah, I don't care. Well, let's use that way. <sighs> Math 9 from whole decimal
y1 minus y2 if you want, or you can just say 2, but I'm going to use y2, dx, and there's my answer. Since I've identified a and b over here, I don't have to rewrite them. Not too many decimals in that number. There you go. And one more, and we're done. Find the area of the region closed by these two curves. So they've drawn the picture for me already. I can see they meet at 0, 0, at 2, 4, and at 4, 0. So my integrals are going to go. You can get this curve, which is the cubic. So this one is y1, and this will be y2. Okay, so this is y1, the cubic, and then the quadratic, y squared. So my integral will go from 0 to 2 with the quadratic first. Then we will add to that the integral from 2 to 4. But now y1 is on top, the cubic minus the quadratic. Quadratic is on the bottom, the x. Let's see if I can clean up my, see my hand right here. Okay. Clear these out, replace them with those. Y1 will be negative fraction. X raised to the third over two plus two X squared. The next one will be 4x minus x squared. There it is. Okay. Then I'm quitting. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to type in this to my calculator. The interval, math 9, from 0 to 2 of y2 y2 minus y1 dx plus the interval math 9 from 2 to 4 y1 minus y2 dx bloop, 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 four. Sorry about that computer freeze, so just let's look at that again. Out came 4, so my answer is 4. And you could do this by hand, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but you don't have to, which is even better. Okay? Alright, and that's the end of this particular video. I will see you guys soon.